Example 11.1. Justin, a mechanical engineer with dynamic castings, has been asked to make a preliminary estimate of the total cost to manufacture 1,500 sections of high-pressure gas pipe using an advanced centrifugal casting method. Since a plus-minus 20% estimate is acceptable at this preliminary stage, a unit method estimate is sufficient. Use the following resource and unit cost factor estimates to help Justin. Okay, so here we're being asked for a unit method estimate to be performed. In the previous chapters, uh, for all of the problems that you have been solving as of now, you are given the costs, but you have to know where these costs are coming from. So they have been previously calculated for, uh, for you, but chapter 11 will talk about how to come up with these costs. If you go to slide 13, there's a list of five methods that we will be covering uh, in this chapter. We have the unit cost method, the cost index method, factor method, cost capacity, and learning curve. The first one is the one that we're going to be using for example 11.1. .1. It is very popular, okay, so I'm sure that you've all gone to the grocery store and let's say that you want to make an apple pie. Okay, so you go ahead and look for the price of the apple, so they sell them per pound and it says that here that three pounds are 344 because they come in the bag or it's 115 per pound. So you're going to calculate how many pounds do you need, how many, yeah, how many pounds of apples you need for your apple pie, and that's how you're going to get uh, the cost estimation for the apples. Of course, you need also to calculate the cost for the, the rest of the ingredients. Okay, but this is something that you do uh, most of the time in any store that you go to. Okay, but as mentioned, it is very preliminary so it's not very accurate because it will be accurate at that particular point in time when you visit the grocery store. But for other projects, especially if they're long-term, those prices that you got are very likely to change. So it means that, yes, at that time, that point in time, it will be accurate, but maybe not in the long run. Okay, so anyhow, here they're asking us that, or they're telling us that it's okay because it's a preliminary stage, so it's okay to have um, an estimate that it's not very accurate. So for this example, we're going to be using the unit cost method. Okay. Also listed in the PowerPoint for the unit cost method is the formula. So it's going to be the total cost. You're going to multiply the unit cost factor, okay, which is the cost per unit, times the number of units. So it's, we talked about the apples. Okay, so it's going to be the price per pound times the number of pounds that you need. And we're going to abbreviate it with a U and an N. Okay, so let me write down the formula your reference. Total cost is going to be equal to U times N. Kay. So let me list everything we have. We're going to have N, we're going to have U, and the total cost. And N stands for number of units, and the U is unit First of all, we're given materials. Kay. It says that the number of units required are 3,000 3, tons at 45.90 per ton. You have to make sure that the units match. If not, you would require uh, some conversion uh, for them to be the same. Then we have machinery and tooling
this is 1,500 hours at $120 the hour. Then we have something called direct labor. Uh, there's a difference between direct labor and indirect labor, and we'll see it later um, in the other methods. But here it doesn't really matter, but they still want to make or keep it in a separate category. Okay, so we have casting and treating. This is 3,000 hours at $55 per hour. Then we have finishing. And shipping. And as I mentioned, these two right here, I'm just going to specify that fall into direct labor. Okay, but the finishing and shipping is 1,200 hours at $45 per hour. And then we have indirect labor, which is 400 hours at $75. In one of the upcoming examples, we will learn how to calculate the total time required in a project. Okay, so now all we need to do is multiply these two amounts. For the first one, it's going to be 137,700. For the next category, 180,000, then 165,000, then 54,030,000. Now here we only have the total cost per item or per category. All that's left to do is to add everything up and you will get a total cost of $566,700.